Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to jump into my website and I'm going to show you guys some basic SEO stuff. I don't think I've ever made a video on this before and people are emailing me all the time asking about questions about websites, how they should do it, what SEO is, some of the basics. So I figured why not just make a quick video on it. I'm not going to go into depth like backlinks, making YouTube content that links back to your website, image tagging, all that junk. Well, that junk, it's important. I'm going to do the basics. These are things that you should have on your website that'll separate you from the beginner guys and that is real easy to do. It does take some time to build out these pages, but it will make a difference, especially if your area isn't super competitive and your website has these pages and other websites in your area don't. It'll separate you from the competition and make your life a lot easier get more work. We'll hop in the computer here and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about and some of the things that you definitely should have on your website when starting out. Here we are on my homepage. Feel free to use my stuff as examples or food for thought, but don't completely rip my website. First things first, uh, the homepage is gonna be the most important page because this is where the majority of your traffic's gonna come through. So you want it to convert, you wanna have a lot of call to actions right when you land on it. As you see, I have a book online, yada, 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 call now, but we're not doing call to actions today, we're doing SEO. So you want external links, lots of content on the first page, lots of text, lots of keywords. As you can see, each one of these is a keyword and each, a lot of them, I haven't finished everything, but majority of these link out to a separate page. So these are considered links. This will boost your SEO. There's tons of videos out there, how to build a homepage. I, as you guys can see, I have all this link to other pages. So these are all links that will boost your SEO. And then I have more links here that link out to specific service pages, more links that's gonna boost your SEO. So links are super important and you just want a lot of content on your homepage. Don't get me wrong, mine is definitely not perfect. I'm always messing with it, always changing it and always trying to get better results. But let's hop into the more important things. I wanna show you guys service pages. So if you are in some Facebook groups or ever watch videos on SEO, you always hear about service pages. Service pages are pages that are dedicated specifically to individual services or cities. I guess we'll start with cities. So as you can imagine, if you live in a populated area, for example, um, St. Petersburg is where I live and St. Petersburg has a population of, well, I live in Pinellas County, but St. Petersburg is the big, biggest city in Pinellas County. So it's like close to like 500, 600,000 people live in this city alone. And then the other cities all combined, I think my population is like around a million or something. Could be wrong on that, don't hold me to it. Anyways, John Carmel, St. Petersburg. So as you can imagine, it'd be pretty hard to rank in Pinellas County for just the word junk removal because there is tons of other junk removal services. There's tons of competitors. So it'd be hard to rank for the word just junk removal. So if someone's looking up junk removal near me and there's 10 other companies in the area that have been around longer than me or just have more website authority or just a better website, it's going to be hard for me to outrank them. But a way that you can separate yourself from other companies, but this one's pretty basic. A lot of companies do this. A way to separate yourself is make junk removal St. Petersburg or junk removal Seminole or junk removal Madeira Beach. A lot of people don't focus Madeira Beach in my area because it is a very small city in my area so some people don't waste the time to make a whole page dedicated to junk removal in madeira beach so when people go into google and type in junk removal madeira beach there isn't a ton of junk removal websites out there that have a page dedicated to madeira beach my page comes up towards the top of the search engine when people look up junk removal madeira beach because i have a whole page dedicated to this service and i use the word madeira beach and tons of the h1 and h2 tags so this really helps boost this page for me to show up for junk removal Madeira Beach. That's an example of making service area pages. For junk removal, this will help you get more phone calls and get more traffic to your website because you can niche down and really make specific pages to specific cities in your area. Now to get more niche down, you can go into specific services for junk removal. Now furniture removal is a very common one. So if someone's looking up furniture removal near me and you have a whole page dedicated to a furniture removal service and it has the keyword furniture removal all over the place, yada, yada, yada. Same thing as the Madeira Beach page, this will help you rank for the keyword furniture removal if you want to get real niche down like a lot of people do furniture removal service as its own page but not a lot of people do this don't share this with everyone i'm making these videos for you guys so don't uh, go posting this in facebook groups i mean it's already out there not a lot of people make furniture removal pages largo so now you can see how i'm getting down to the good stuff here i have furniture removal pages niche down to each city so now i don't just have a furniture removal page 
for just a service, I have a furniture removal page in Largo. So if someone looks up furniture removal in Largo, I have a whole page dedicated to that. And I am in the process of doing that for every single city in my area. I have done a lot of them, but I mean, there's so many things to work on your website at a time. I kind of just do a little bit here, a little bit there. But that is a that's a good one. Um, couch removal. Not a lot of people have a page dedicated completely to couch removal. So I would recommend doing this. Another good one would be hot tub removal services. This is a high ticket job. I would consider it in the junk removal industry. Removing hot tubs is anywhere from like four fifty to a thousand dollars, depending on how insane the hot tub is. So as you can see, same thing again. This page is going to rank good for when someone looks up hot tub removal. I do have it in St. Petersburg just because that is the biggest city in my area, and that really niches it down. So if someone looks up hot tub removal st petersburg but looky here same thing with this i have niche down hot tub removal services pages so this is really going to separate me from other people in my area because i've not seen anyone in my area besides like load up which is not even a junk removal company in my area they're just like a lead grabbing service haven't seen anyone do this where they have a hot tub removal and then a city like a whole page dedicated to a hot tub removal in a certain city i know i'm probably getting repetitive here i don't want to repeat myself forever um some of the basics though have a good home page you want all your services and just you want people to hop on this page and explain what you do briefly and have a lot of call to actions dumpster rental pages not going to go into that because that's a whole separate business but I don't have many dumpster rental pages. Have your basic dumpster rental page, then construction debris, residential dumpster rentals, dumpster rental in St. Petersburg. You could build this out. Same thing, dumpster rental Clearwater, dumpster rental Largo, so on, so on. All my cities, I try to have a page for each city in my area. Services, just something like this. And these should be all linked out. Oh, wow, well, a lot of them aren't. I definitely need to work on that. Finish this page out. I have a lot of them linked, but... As you can see, I don't have a mattress removal page yet. And that is a good page to have because mattress removal is searched a lot in my area and I bet every area. Uh, pricing page, you definitely want a pricing page. People look up how much does junk removal cost very often. And if you have a good pricing page and maybe you can get them to convert from your pricing page, that's a free lead. But yeah, I don't want to sound like a broken record. You guys can come and check this website out for yourself. I built this, probably have hundreds of hours on this website and it's still not even that great. I still have tons of work to do to it. This is just the basics of SEO. You have tons of franchises in your area and tons of businesses that have been around forever and have good website authority. This won't help you rank at the top of Google alone you're still going to have to do backlinking maybe make youtube content and just focus on building some sort of authority to your website to pass those guys like junk king 1-800 junk college hunks junk luggers those people have websites all over the nation so it's going to be very hard to pass those people but if you can start ranking your average position for your website is top 10 in a pretty populated area that's good i mean that'll definitely get your phone ringing so that is a goal to set but again i'll have this link below if you guys want to come check this out don't just rip my website just use it for food for thought you want me to do a part two on other seo tips go more in depth like how these pictures are tagged for junk removal geotagging h1 h2 tag stuff like that just let me know and uh yeah that's all i got so i'll catch you guys in the next video peace